exploring Earth's ancient secrets, stratification and the young versus old Earth debate. Uh, yeah, so uh, today we just want to kind of discuss um, um, what the st uh, geology, right? geology yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and the, the, stratus, the um, strat stratification, stratification yeah. is that the word we're looking for, uh, right? Uh, discussing layers and things. Strategery. <laughs> yeah, strategery. <laughs> So obviously, Brandon, you have uh, uh, points of view on that, and uh, maybe, who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, right. We, we all have a point of view on that. Right, so, right. Brandon, why don't you may just uh, start with um, an intro and explaining why why this is important, especially coming from evolution's point of view, um, of why this is important, what it means to you, and in, in your point of view, and how it proves what you believe. Yeah. So I will say that. Insofar as this conversation goes today, I think I'm not interested in specifically having the creationist versus evolutionist debate the way that it's usually done. I'd like to like really focus on one incredibly tiny sort of argument uh, inside of that, which is. I mean, you could call it like young earth creationist versus just old earth, right? <laughs> so in some ways, like the arguments that I'm going to be making, like would be arguments that an old earth creationist would make but even more specifically um uh, than that it's the question of whether it may whether how we explain the things the rocks that we see around our houses okay and specifically whether that makes sense in a sort of a giant flood right a flood geo cataclysmic geomorphology so are words that are sometimes put here or whether the rocks around our houses actually show these different chapters in Earth's history. 